you're going on a first date, how can you be more attractive to that first person that you're meeting for the first time? So there are some things you can do in terms of body language. And it all has to do with having this kind of relaxed and confident energy about yourself. Mm -hmm. So some body language, like let's say tricks that you can do is, for instance, instead of staying like on the person, leaning back in the chair, Mm. it transmits this subconscious message that, you know, you're laid back, relaxed. You know, you're not trying too hard because when you're stressed out, you know, you can you can see it in someone's body language. They're kind of contracted, shrink down. And something else you can do is like take up more space, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, lean back in the chair, have uh, relaxed body language, like warm body language, you know, gesture with your hands when you talk. Mm -hmm. Another thing is actually talking more slowly. Because when you're stressed out and anxious, you'll talk really fast and you'll, you know, talk. So guilty of that. Yeah. Yeah. No, same. You Mm -hmm. know, when I'm stressed out, I talk really fast. But it actually transmits this message that I don't deserve to have someone else's time and to be listened to. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you talk slowly, when your body language is, you know, more relaxed in general, it just transmits a lot of confidence and self-assurance. It's like that movie In Time with Justin Timberlake. I don't know if you've seen it. Yes, that's a great film. <laughs> yeah, and it's like the people that were the, that were more rich were m- more like relaxed and slow with what they did. And the people that were poor were like um, super fast, you know, kind of jerky with their moves because they're, they're always running. Mm-hmm. And I, I think that's a good analogy. You know, when you're like confident, self-assured, like you take your time, mm-hmm. you feel like you deserve for people to listen to you. Mm-hmm.